Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I want to do some sniffing with you guys. I do have a little baggie here full of samples. I haven't tried any of these yet, so it's going to be a very first sniff and first impressions of these scents. Um, they're all niche scents, and also they're all gourmand scents. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my quick first thoughts on them. Hopefully there's something amazing in here. So let's begin with the first one. I'll probably do like two or three just to not uh, make it too long. All right, so the first sample I picked here is from um, Milano Fragrance and it's called Panettone or Panettone. I'm sure I'm not saying it right. <laughs> but Panettone is a type of, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a bready type of um, Christmas or holiday bread from Italy, at least that's what I think it is. I always see these big humongous loaves of uh, bread around Christmas time. Maybe in Italy it's served throughout the year. Um, but when I think of Panettone, I think of the holidays and just a nice soft um, sweet bread a holiday type of bread hmm. so it's been a very very long time since i've tasted this panettone and what i'm getting here is a spicy citrus bready type scent it smells very much like orange an orange citrus and also orange rind. I'm smelling something that reminds me also of raisins or dates. Hmm. And it's very sweet and very delicious smelling. Hmm, I like it. <laughs> so spicy orange, orange rind. Maybe there's some cinnamon or some kind of spice in here. Uh, very realistic and smells like what I remember Panettone tastes like. But then again, it's been a very, very long time. So yeah, this smells delicious. I think that the uh, texture of this isn't so heavy. So you can probably wear this year round and not only in the holidays because I always imagine Panettone with the holiday season. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of bready as well. But again, it's not super, super heavy. There's a, a little bit of a transparency that I get through um, in this scent that makes it a little bit thin and light, but sweet and delicious and raisiny, citrusy, orange spicy mm, maybe like having that bread and then pouring some orange spiced kind of liqueur on top <laughs> delicious so let's see what the notes are in this one um how do i spell this okay just bear with me for a moment all right so the bottle looks like that very nice blue color. I love that bottle design. And then it's by Matilda uh, Bijawi. It says the name right on the bottle there. Milan Milano Fragranza, Fragranze. And this one was released in 2021. And then the notes listed in the top. There's quite a lot here. Bitter orange, carrot seeds, seeds ginger, mandarin orange, divana. Middle notes are rum, immortelle, and tagettes, and base notes are vanilla and buckwheat. Mm, you definitely get that orange. And the spice in here is carrot seeds, if that's a spice. Technically, I don't know, but also ginger. Yeah, this smells really, really nice. And um, I will test this one definitely. Um, on skin to see how that uh, dries down, but Panettone smells delicious. Okay, let's do another one here. 
And the second one I picked out here is called Dom Rosa. Now, I said earlier that I haven't tried these scents, but actually, <laughs> now that I remember, well, Dom Rosa, I, I know that I've tested this way long, long time ago, like a long, long time ago. I knew about the scent when I was testing um, Bloody Wood from the same house, which I now own, which is my favorite from the house, aside from Blanche Bet. So I have tested this one, but it's been a very, very long time and I don't really remember much about it. Okay. Hmm. All right, so right away, it's reminding me of another scent. I'm not saying they're the same, but as soon as I smell this, I'm thinking of Rose Ikebana from Hermescence where you have a really nice zesty bright citrus almost like a grapefruit kind of opening so i'm also smelling some woods in here as well i don't know what the notes are obviously but um like a citrus grapefruit like squeezing the grapefruit juice out of a grapefruit and sprinkling it on top of a block of dry wood. So Rosa is in the name, so I, I'm assuming there's um, some rose in here. And I think I smell that in here as well, but mostly I'm getting a nice, sharp, tart, juicy citrus opening and a really nice dry woods at the bottom here and in the middle maybe some soft flower petals yeah really nice sparkling opening here and I like it as well now let's see what Dom Rosa has in the notes all right, the bottle looks like this. I really love uh, their bottle designs. It looks like some kind of um, medieval kind of um, cup or a chalice. I like that a lot. Okay, so the notes, well, first of all, it was released in 2013. And in the notes, in the top, we have champagne, pomelo, and pear. Okay, so pomelo to me kind of smells grapefruity. Um, and then champagne. I guess that's where that sparkling character is coming from. The mid notes are damask rose, cloves, and olibanum. And then the base notes are woody notes, cedar, vetiver, and guyac wood. Mm. This smells really refreshing, sparkling, bright woods. This is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I can totally see myself wearing this as an, a fancy kind of scent and it would make me feel extra fancy, extra uh, dressed up and also very unique. I don't smell many people smelling like this out in public whenever I do smell scent on other people. Usually it's La Vie Belle or Black Opium or some kind of dupe of that of those scents or coco mademoiselle i smell a lot as well and actually i've been smelling a lot of uh, baccarat rouge 540 or a dupe of that a lot as well and sauvage <laughs> i think those are the top ones that i smell the most in public so yeah this is really really nice oh, i love that so refreshing almost mouth quenching a little bit Hmm. Okay, so, so far we're two for two. Now let's do one more here. And the last one. Okay, so this is Bello Rabello, and this is from the same house as Dom Rosa. That's unusual. <laughs> All right, so what is this? Okay, so right away, I'm feeling that it's very like sharp. There's like this 
intense piercing sharpness that I get. Like a little bit of a sour, uh, tart, sharp feeling. Hmm. All right, so I'm also smelling something more like heavy at the bottom here. Maybe an earthy kind of woods feeling. And almost a bitter type of sharp uh, sweetness as well. But I don't know exactly what kind of sweetness. Just a bitter and sweet scent <laughs> that is sharp and intense. Interesting, but I can't really make much um, of it right now. <laughs> okay, so Bello Rabello. So the bottle looks the same, just different color juice. Really, really nice, almost purple juice there. Uh, the chords are amber, woody, sweet, wine, fruity, herbal, warm, spicy, balsamic, and vanilla. And released in 2013. And the notes are dried fruits and red wine at the top. Uh, mid notes are immortel, resins, and labdanum. Base notes are woody notes, benzoin, and vanilla. Okay, so dried fruits and red wine. Well, I definitely smell something sweet in here, but it's being like toned down by this really sharp something else. So red wine, I don't really smell in here, at least not yet. And then, yeah, woody base. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad, but um, I definitely will test this one. Well, I'll test all of them on, on skin, of course. But this one I'm really, really interested in as well. Because it is something I've never really smelled before. It's very unique. It's very unique. <laughs> and I like unique, challenging scents. So I'm going to rank these ones from my least favorite to my most favorite, just based on these first impressions. Uh, my least favorite right now is um, Bello Rebello because I'm not really sure what to make of it. I think it's an interesting scent and it's definitely a unique scent, but I don't know if I love this one. Second place would be Panettone from Milano Fragrance. Mm. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice. This orange is still pretty intense. I think there's Immortel in here, if I remember right. And then I smell that in here well as well, kind of like a syrupy thickness coming through. Almost maple syrupy, but not quite. And then my favorite easily out of these three is Dom Rosa. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Again, it kind of reminds me of the Rose Ikebana from Hermes, Hermescence. I just love that um, really nice, bright, sparkling uh, grapefruit. It's very happy and very cheerful. It's really, really nice. Dom Rosa is the winner for me for sure. So those were my first impressions of these three perfumes. If you've tried these ones, I would love to hear your opinions on them, uh, which is your favorite and which is your least favorite. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.